Jamie, it's reunion Sunday in Santa Clara between two Super Bowl contenders, the 49ers and the Dolphins. And look, we've got head coach Mike McDaniel facing his mentor and Kyle Shanahan. said, we're not going against each other in Oklahoma drill, but several players who were 49ers last year, Dolphins currently will play, including Raheem Mostert and Jeff Wilson. And look, social media went ablaze this week when a story came out about Tua from Tyler Dunn, a reporter, and Raheem Mostert had quotes in there, including, look, we have way more talent and our quarterback can actually sling it, right? And so Debo Samuel saw that and tweeted out, Raheem, let's be real with yourself. Keep an eye on that backfield with Tua and Tyreek and Waddle. They want to be complete and they have a contest this week against the number one ranked 49ers run deep. Quite a challenge, Jamie. An absolute challenge, Cameron. Thank you very much. Here's a question, guys. Who poses the bigger challenge? Two pretty potent units across the NFL face off against each other. Is it the 49ers defense or is it the Dolphins offense? I always have problems in like deciding who is the advantage when it's mentor and protege stuff. Mm. And like I, I, I don't know if there's any any bigger mm. time spent together in the league right now than Mike McDaniel and Kyle Shanahan. You know that the last five years, Mike McDaniel was in San Francisco as Kyle Shanahan's offensive assistant, running a lot of the run game, and then eventually also working with the quarterbacks. You could see McDaniel in that Niners uniform, and you picture it, and you're like, all right, that's what I picture. But it goes so much further than that. Mike McDaniel was working with Kyle Shanahan in Houston. He worked with him in Washington. He worked with him in Cleveland. He worked with him in Atlanta. 14 years he worked under Kyle Shanahan. 14 years. So who has the advantage? Is it the guy who, who worked under Kyle Shanahan and knows how his offense operates? Or is it the other guy who is like, no, I taught you everything you know, and you're like my little brother. Um, this is an age-old question. We've seen it a million times in history, and it goes both ways. I'm sure there's some split that you could do of like, yes, but Mangini beat Belichick those first few times. Yeah. Matt Patricia beat Belichick when he was in Detroit, oddly enough. Like, But at the end of the day, I just find it the X's and O's fascinating. McDaniel knows that defense inside and out. He knows, obviously, D'Amico Ryans, because they were colleagues together. He knows all those defensive players going up against him in practice and knowing what they meant to his team when he was in San Francisco. I'm going to say just the familiarity with mm -hmm. the roster that the Miami offense might have an edge over the mm -hmm. San Francisco defense because Mike McDaniel knows that San Francisco defense inside and out. It's the same D that they mm -hmm. ran last year. But I think McDaniel has the advantage too. I'm with you. Are you? Yeah, just the way you just laid it out. He knows yeah. the team so well. Shanahan doesn't know the Dolphins that well. It, what it is, Peter, it's Jedi and Padawan. Thank you. You know that, right? I'm looking for that pop culture. I'm sure McDaniel knows it. I'm sure he does. <laughs> I'm so fascinated by like the protégés when it comes to coaching because you sit under a guy. Yes, you learn from him. But I think also when you're sitting under a guy, you're like, yo, I would do this so much So it's much like better. Flores, what you had versus Belichick. Mm. Like, Flo wanted to be Bill bad when he got to another mm. team. So like, I'm always fascinated by those relationships because obviously there's so much mutual respect by both those yeah. coaches. But whenever you're in an organization, you're a coach underneath, you're always thinking about okay. what you would do different. Feels like Mike McDaniel has the ultimate weapon, though, and he kind of wins out in the quarterback battle if you had to. I would rather take Tua than Jimmy G. I know this was the matchup I wanted to watch quarterback-wise, but I'd rather have Tua Tungavolo as my Quinn and MVP, of course, was Dan Marino's campaign in 1984. I had to read more about it because, of course, I did not get to witness sure. that one firsthand. But it is a really interesting case. He finished 14-2 and two last, that year. Mm -hmm. Tua could easily amass that record for just himself this season. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty incredible, the case that Tua Tungavello is making. And again, this feels like an ultimate statement game. But Showcase game. I too. hang my hat on that. Is yeah. that. I don't think there's a more influential player in the league on their team than Tua is for mm -hmm. Miami Dolphins. Kyle, Niners are 5-0.